software package. And all it's designed to do is take all the information that you know about every item that you carry in your stores, whether it's 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, doesn't matter. Take all the information you know about those items, how many did I sell, what's my cost, what's my current retail price, maybe what's my competitor's price, put it all into a format then that I can start to digest and break, allow me to break into small enough pieces that I can manage the, the individual retails on those items. Why do I care about that? Well, in my own store, uh, we carry Benjamin Moore in one of our stores. If I had a Sherwin-Williams store in the same plaza that I sell Benjamin Moore, maybe I need to do something different in my paintbrush category. That doesn't mean that the guy 60 miles away has the same challenge. Or maybe the fact that I have five auto parts stores in our town means that my automotive category has got to be a little more competitive. Or maybe the fact that I'm the only steel dealer around lets me charge a little more. Those are all market-specific conditions that exist in every one of your stores. And from owner to owner, from two stores sitting side by side or across the street from each other, they'll perceive things differently, and they have different things that they're going after. Maybe you're big into snowmobile repair. Well, a guy in Florida doesn't care about snowmobile repair. Where, what are your niches? Where do, you, where do you have an opportunity? What is your business? Those are your market-specific conditions. You need to react with your variable pricing to address each of those market-specific conditions. Is it an opportunity? Is it a challenge? Great. You know we've got a challenge. How do I react? And as a starting point, I can almost always utilize the do-it-best-suggested retail price as the fair, I'm not saying lowest, I'm not saying the best, I'm saying as a fair starting point for a, for a retail price. So let's go back to the example of Prylon spray paint. And, and this will be fun for those of you that, for those that don't have arguments. When you go back to your store Monday, whenever you go back, take a walk down your, your spray paint aisle and check out your, check out your spray paint. So just stand there for a couple seconds and just look at it and think to yourself, not as the owner, not as the manager, but as the guy that's getting ready to buy a can of spray paint. And you want, of course, you want to buy Plum, and you look at Plum, and Plum's $3.79, and you think, oh, well, it's Plum. It's kind of, but every other one on the shelf is $3.59. Now, as a consumer, we don't maybe know what the price of that should be, but we absolutely know that plum should be the same price as the red, the yellow, the black, and the green, and the green. Most of them. So what, what does that consumer take away? They take it away, well, Brad's hardware store, he's, he must be trying to rip me off, or he's taking advantage of me, or they don't know what they're doing. Something, but you've planted the seed in their mind, and guess what happens the next time they go to Walmart? Oh, yeah, they go to Walmart because 90-some percent of the Americans are in Walmart once a week. So they're going to Walmart. And if you say, I don't have a Walmart town, you're lucky because they're coming. But when, when they do go to Walmart, they're going to say, geez, I remember I was getting that can of plum spray paint that was three seventy-nine dollars or whatever. And they go look, holy cow, $1.49. Guess where they don't buy any spray paint anymore? In fact, guess where they don't even shop anymore? Not because your price was too high, but because your pricing didn't make sense. The importance of pricing relationships between SKUs is probably as important as the price itself. So Margin Master is a tool that takes all this information, helps you streamline it, lets you put it into manageable chunks, and lets you make business decisions about what the heck am I going to do on my, my price? <coughs> I know today how I want to handle a certain category. Why do I have to remember six months from now what my decision was? Anybody do that? Because I, I get this a lot. I get the electronic communication that says, hey, prices are changing on all these items. And somebody's really smart. They're smarter than a lot of us. And they go and start changing retails. But they didn't know about the one that didn't come through. And so pretty soon their shelves don't make sense. And things are out of whack. We all, we've all seen it. You know, and Minwax is all the same except for one color. Uh, it happens. It's just a reality. What if that didn't have to make have to go that way because if you had a software tool that could just as easily look at 50,000 items as it can look at five, and it knows that everything of Minwax should be the same price, problem solved. Now, no disagree, you don't want to agree with do it best suggested retail. What do you want to do? I think that we want to be really competitive on Minwax. We're going to sell the do it best retail less 20%, and we'll apply maybe some rounding rules. But guess what? We don't just do it to one quarter. We do it to it all. And therefore, all the relationships, all the things between SKUs make sense, not because I'm smarter than anybody else, but because the tool can measure and make sure that the logic is happening correctly. That's what computers are good at. So everybody says to me, well, Brad, what, what do I, I don't know what I want to do with 
my stuff. Well, I don't know what you want to do with your stuff. And neither is Margin Master. The process of becoming, and we truly deem it a Margin Master, when you've learned the tool and you've learned what you're trying to do, isn't about using the tool. It's about being able to identify what pricing decisions do I need to make to give me the results that I'm after. <coughs> and guess what? If I set all my switch plate covers to a certain strategy, and next week I get six people in complaining, and holy cow, your switch plate covers are out of line, I probably need to adjust my strategy on those. A strategy lives and it breathes and it goes up and down and there's changes to it all the time. It gets more and more stable, but the idea is over time, we know why we're doing things. We know what we set. And, and here's the real beauty. So let, you know, let's keep the spray paint example as a, as a good one. So all the spray paints are $2.99 and $3.49 out of there. We come to the market and we see a super buy. They've got three new colors. Prylon's released. In the old days, We'd order those, they'd come in, we might add a new SKU to our system, we'd look up and see, well, what are we charging for those? We, we maybe would get that set up correctly. But what Margin Master does is says, hey, the rule says that spray paints from Kylon do this, those three automatically get set to the right price. They automatically filter right in with the rest of the line, there's no confusion, there's no reason to give somebody an objection to your price, and you're ready to the biggest thing, though, the absolute biggest thing that Margin Master lets you do is create a pricing strategy. When I talk about a pricing strategy, I'm not talking about, again, a secret formula. Uh, I'm not talking about something that's overly complicated. In fact, the way I like to teach most people how to build a pricing strategy is forget the computer for a little bit and just take out a legal pad and write down what you want to do. So I know in my paint department I want to do this. I want to mark the lawn and garden, I'm going to do this. Oh, I forgot to tell you, lawn and garden, we don't do this on grass either. But on the fertilizer, we do this. What are all those conditions? And if I asked most of you, if we were in any of your stores today, and I said, tell me what you want to do, you probably wouldn't. And that's okay. But what Margin Master wants you to do, what we want you to do, is learn the process of determining what do I want to do. And we're going to go through how, how you start to see some of that here in a second. Okay?